Hi everyone, welcome to the new video. Here we are going to discuss the specimen question paper given by the council. Let's uh, look at the instructions given here. The question paper will be for 40 marks. That means there will be 41 mark question and the total time inclusive of the reading time is 40 minutes. We are still not sure whether it is going to be an online exam or the offline exam. It doesn't matter at this moment of time what we have to concentrate is on the method or the preparation. All questions are compulsory. One question and four, four options will be given and the student need to choose the correct one all right so <coughs> before uh, we begin uh, let me remind you one thing students may have different methods in their mind to find out an answer what i suggest is the elimination method elimination method is very simple just read the question thoroughly one or two or three times then look at the answers for certain questions you may get the answer within a second so that if you are 100 percent confident you can go for that and in case if you have any confusion in any of the question look at the answers and eliminate all those options which are incorrect so when you eliminate one or two options it will become easy to uh, point out the correct one that method can be used to get answer for a difficult question another important thing to keep in mind is in case if you have doubt on any one question just skip it uh, for that time later when you get the time for revision or later you can come back to the question so initially go for the question that you are 100 percent sure about it is better to follow from the first question itself no need to read the question and waste the time straight the first question look at the answer if you know attempt it otherwise pass it and move on to the next one so here in this video i'm going to discuss the questions which came from the topography session there are 10 questions given by the council let's begin here is the first question we can see a small diagram we can see the northings and east things and a symbol is also given there. now the question is this refer to the images and answer the question that follow what does the black line in 4938 indicate options are given that you can see now here first of all the or the student should identify the grid square numbered 4932 so just to recollect the grid reference whenever we write the grid reference we will be writing the eastings first and the northing second so eastings first and northing second how to remember this some students may have confusion whether the easting or the northing is coming first so just to keep in mind you can take it like this it is in the alphabetic order that means when we take east things and north things or e and n e is coming ahead of n and here also e or the east thing will come ahead of north thing so whenever we write the four figure grid reference east thing values are written first then the north thing values are written and which east thing and the which north thing need to be taken so always we will take the east thing located on the left side of the given figure or the given location or whatever it is and the north things located directly below that how to remember this again very simple method we can remember the letter l suppose uh, if here in this question uh, it is four nine three eight so it will be here so within the grid we are writing an l which means easting on the left and northing at the bottom so this is a simple technique by which you can uh, remember how to identify the four figure Grid reference or how to write the four figure grid reference of a particular place. Now, coming back to this question, uh, what does the black line 4932 indicate? So, what I have drawn that the L is the correct grid. So, we can see a black line, and if you see the options open scrub, dry land, broken down, and seasonal stream. So, first three are not related to the symbol. So, it's a very simple question. So, answer is uh, seasonal stream. Let's move on to the next one. Another image of a small part of a uh, topography uh, sheet refer to the images and answer the questions that follow have a look at the image first we have two settlements uh, names are also given now the question is what is the direction of Dantrai from Dan now whenever you get this question you have to read the question two or three times that is direction of Dantrai from Dan that means from Dan we need to measure the direction so imagine you are standing in Dan and there you can mark a north arrow all right so you are standing in dan and you are uh, drawing the north arrow at from that place now from dan if you see then rai is located uh, towards this direction that is the southwest direction and find out the direction so here in this case answer is southwest now the third question again the same image but the question is different what is dot 277 in 43 sorry 4833 meaning is what is the meaning of the number 277 along with the dot given in 4833 indicates we know that 
it is the spot height but look at the answers all are given in different units but again there is nothing to get confused we all know that all the heights that is given in the topographic map that we are studying are in the unit meters so here we can eliminate all other things so it cannot be centimeter or millimeter or kilometer so it is the spot height of 277 meters moving on to the next question question number four <coughs> again the same question but additionally we have a lake with a relative height or depth we all know the meaning of this a dot then a number and r so it could be either relative depth or relative height now here in this question what does 2r in 5032 indicates we can go for the elimination method look at the third and fourth option it is saying relative depth of the embankment and uh, fourth option relative depth of the embankment whatever but here we don't have embankment in the diagram or in the question so embankment is not there so therefore these two options can be eliminated next thing we know all the heights measured in the topographic map that we are using are in meters and you can see second option that is in centimeters so we can eliminate that one also so the correct answer here will be option number one that the relative height of the tank is two meter again a small part of a topographical map is taken and it is given in yellow wash and the question is what is the main occupation of the people living in an area shown on the map extract so all of us know that the meaning of yellow wash is either cultivation of crops or agriculture other options given are mining fishing and uh, sheep rearing this is comparatively a very easy question so these kind of questions will help the students to get more time for doing difficult questions because these are very simple and direct questions it won't take more than uh, maybe 10 or 15 seconds the time that actually we take to read that much is enough for answering these kind of question but again reading the question thoroughly is very much important again same uh, kind of a diagram we have two three settlements here names are given now the question is which is the most important town in the above image now most important how do we define the most important most important means the one particular settlement with more number of facilities here we don't have any roads or other connectivity we have only buildings and another one facility so look at the facilities available and see the size of the village now if you see the villages here there is one village or one town that is Dendrai that has four separate buildings and a diggy diggy is a, a small tank or human made tank so that village has more facilities than all other three villages or the towns and therefore the correct answer in this case is option number three that is the Dendrai refer to the image and answer the questions that follow Again, we have two settlements, Eastings and Northings, and a black line. So, what are the black vertical lines between 49 and 50 Eastings? So, this is again a simple question because we know black lines, straight lines used on a topographical map are either the lines of latitudes or the lines of longitudes. Here, it is a vertical line, so it is the line of longitude. All right, let's move on to the next one. Question number eight. I refer to the images and answer the questions that follow. Again, we have two villages and a rock outcrop given in one particular grid square. So, what is the four-figure grid reference of the rock outcrop? So, just like I told in the beginning, we have to take the easting on the left side of the grid or the feature as well as the north thing at the bottom. So, those who are having confusion can go for drawing a letter L. Alright, so the one easting on the left and the north thing at the bottom. So, every time we will write eastings first, then the north things. Keep that technique which I told you earlier E and N they are in the alphabetic order so first 48 that is the Eastings and the next one is 32 so just go and find out the correct answer from the option that is 4832 option number one is the correct answer for this question now the question number nine what is the drainage pattern seen in 5438 so first task is to identify the grid square 5438 so 54 means the line on the left side 38 means the line at the bottom that means this is our grid square what we have to look into is the drainage pattern as per the latest reduced syllabus there are only three drainage patterns to study and here if you see we can see two tributaries are coming and joining the mainstream in a parallel manner and they are almost at 90 degree angle so this pattern or such kind of patterns are called as trellis pattern other patterns are very simple radial pattern means rivers will be moving out of a central place and intermittent it is not there as per the reduced syllabus and the dendritic is just like the branching of a tree so here in this case the answer is 
released a pattern and the final question or the 10th question from topography section name the settlement pattern in grid square 4833 first of all we have to find out the grid square 4833 so use the same method writing 4833 so left side easting and the northing at the bottom so this is our uh, grid square we have three types of settlement pattern nucleated scattered and linear you can do this one particular grid square you can see idrala is the name of the settlement and the houses are located far away from each other look at all the remaining three there or the houses are located very close to each other but in this one houses are scattered or they are far away from each other so such kind of a settlement settlement pattern is called as scattered settlement pattern it is also called as dispersed settlement pattern so there is no confusing terms here nucleated or compact are same everybody know that isolated it's a situation in which one house is located far away from a settlement such kind of a situation is called as isolated it is not a separate settlement pattern as such there can be confusing terms but don't go behind those kind of terms just concentrate on what topics are included in the syllabus uh, or the what topics that you are learning according to your syllabus so <clears throat> this is the answer for the 10th question so there will be 10 more questions in part 1 and if you look at these questions these are the questions given by the council uh, it is there in the council website and if you look at the web questions all questions are comparatively direct and easier so uh, instead of going into those difficult kind of questions practice the very fundamental things which are given in the syllabus thank you